We often discuss monitoring the morphing action of sunspots, but it's often hard to see unless you're watching them over several days. Even those who have heard it a million times are usually hit with a fair amount of surprise when they see just how much shifting and growing and shrinking and development takes place as sunspots cross the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. This morphing is how sunspots rapidly change their flaring level as well. They can appear out of nowhere and begin flaring in hours, or can disappear entirely a few hours after flaring. This was the case with the large sunspots that are departing on the north right now. They came in quiet, then released some X-class solar flares, then went silent for two and a half days, and finally began flaring again near the limb. Let's review a little bit about why this is the determining factor in flaring activity at an active region. And it's all about the umbral magnetic fields attached to these sunspots. In the SDO AIA 171 angstrom view of ionized iron, we see those arching fields and they only connect sunspot umbra to sunspot umbra. Within these arcs is plasma moving at nearly the speed of light, and as the sunspots move around, sometimes these arcs collide. This collision of relativistic plasma with star-powered magnetic fields is what releases the solar flare. These colliding fields release powerful X-ray flare emission that then blasts out plasma in a coronal mass ejection, a CME, and these are of course the makers of geomagnetic storms and auroral activity as they hit the Earth when the CME is aimed our way. One of the best examples of this occurred back in March of 2012. It was one of the most powerful blasts of the previous solar cycle, and the sunspot responsible was not only moving around quite a bit, but collapsing and crowding out the central region. As the large umbra came together, a powerful X-class solar flare erupted when the central magnetic fields collided. You can see that the umbral magnetic fields were numerous and highly complex at the active region, and as the sunspots moved together around the central region, east to west channel through the middle of the sunspots lit up as the fields collided and mass all at the same time. It was one of the biggest space weather events of cycle 24 and in fact we haven't seen anything this dramatic so far in cycle 25. Cycle 25 peaks later this year, the peak will last through most of 2025 and then we will descend into sunspot minimum between then and 2030. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe everyone.